Hello everyone and welcome back to Milo Farms. Well, fall is upon us, getting closer and closer to snowmobile time. Picked up a new product the other day at the local dealership. Been wanting a pair of these for a while. They are carbide savers. They're a snowmobile dolly system that allows you to move snowmobiles across ground that is not snow covered. Um, and what I've read is you're able to do that on dirt and gravel and also loading and unloading into trailers to protect the trailer floor. But for me, it's going to work great because to get from the trailer in the front of the house all the way back to the shop where the snowmobiles live when they're not in use is all gravel. And there's no way to get the truck and trailer back there because of height restrictions. So we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing to start with here. And then secondly, we're going to do a kind of review and maybe a little demonstration. So unboxing him here, you can see we've got the receipt, $259.70 for these. Um, so $245 is what they cost before the tax. That's the cheapest place I could find them on the internet by the time you paid shipping or the ones that had three, free shipping were over $300. So that's the best price I could find on them. Inside the box, there's also a set of color instructions. Uh, these ones are showing the green ones that go with Arctic cats and things like that. But the ones that I have here that we're gonna be taking out of the box and assembling are gonna be all black. And then of course, it's gotta come with a sticker. So right there's the sticker it came with. So starting right here, we've got the, these are the original tires and wheels that they would come with standard. Um, supposedly these tires have some issues, they're air filled. I don't know if the issue is that they go flat or if the issue is they're just of low quality. I'm not sure what the deal, deal is with them. But my dealer included these wheels with it here. They're solid plastic hub and then rubber on the outside here on the rim. And then they have uh, sealed ball bearings on the inside and they said those are uh, much, much better. Normally those would cost 60 to $80 for the upgrade, but uh, for some reason the guy didn't charge me anything for them today when I bought these. So I paid full price for everything else. Um, not sure why he just gave me the wheels. I don't know if it was just a clerical error or if it was uh, um, he just included them or if they're including them now. But everywhere I found on the internet that they're listed, uh, they always come with the wheels that are pictured in, the, in this picture here. So everything is boxed up incredibly well. Every individual part is wrapped in uh, paper and packed very tight in the box. The whole box is quite heavy. I'm not sure it probably weighs at least 30 pounds or 25 pounds minimum. Okay, so got these all unboxed. Um, that was quite a production. Um, everything was individually wrapped, very secure. The finish on the product is real nice. Uh, it's some kind of a black paint or powder coat. Uh, very durable. It has kind of a rough texture to it. Um, we'll see in the long run how it works, but uh, as of so far, it looks really good. There is nothing uh, lightweight about these things. They are heavy-duty steel, and these pieces here that are the main supports for the unit are solid quarter-inch thick steel. So they definitely didn't cut any corners. Also, it comes with all the nuts and bolts and screws that you might need to put them together. So let's get started. So I've got the first bolts put in place there on the front, kind of starting to take shape. So there is the first one all assembled. Not difficult at all to put together, just uh, they're quite heavy once you get them put together. They definitely didn't uh, cut any corners on anything. You can see the bolts here that hold the shaft or the, the shaft for the, the wheels, the size of those, those are at least a half inch, maybe even bigger bolt there. So they're very sturdy. So now on to assemble number two. Okay, so we got the second one of these all assembled. Um, went ahead and did some testing on them to try to figure out the exact adjustments. Um, you can adjust them front to back lengthwise from here to here, longer or shorter, 
This particular one, it looks like it's gonna work the best for being set on the shortest setting. So to go ahead and put these on, you slide them right in here, shove it all the way back. In this particular case, you want it about a half inch from the upright on the ski there. Then you go ahead and push it all the way down like this, slide the pin in and let go of it. And as you can see, now the ski is pretty much level. If you wiggle it, it levels itself right back out again. And now there's wheels underneath the ski. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other one. Push it all the way back, just about a half inch off the upright there. Push this down. And slide the pin in. And same thing. So now the skis can be moved either way very easily if you need to work on something. But best of all, you have the wheels on the front of them now. So we're gonna go ahead and take this outside and give it a try. they did really really well obviously the pasture out there was very rough compared to what you'd normally be driving across the garage floor or a parking lot um, they also say they can go in and out of the trailer as long as you don't have too big of a lip or some people have a little ramp that goes at the bottom of their ramp on the trailer to get over to get in there um, so all in all very happy with the product um, hopefully it's uh, something that'll serve us well for a long time particularly uh, for getting from here out to the uh, the street where the trailer is waiting. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video, enjoyed the product review, and we'll see you next time here at Milo Farms. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in the lower right corner to be notified of the next video.